everybody, welcome back to the studio. It's Tiffany from Tiffany O Studio. I'm bringing you back into the studio today because I'm getting ready for an art show that's coming up. And I have some work to do, so I figured again, I'd bring you in, show you some techniques of mine. Today, I'm working on aluminum water bottles. So, let me show you. There's a few different varieties of aluminum water bottles. I love these. These are amazing, let's be honest. Everybody drinks water, or you should be, or you should drink more. Um, I have these aluminum bottle, uh, water bottles all over the place. Um, I have them at my desk. I always have one like in my purse when I'm traveling, one in my car. They're amazing. They're super portable. They're made out of aluminum, which is awesome because you know the trends going on right now. The aluminum water bottles are really trendy because they really retain the cold. So if you want cold ice water, they hold that cold really, really well. Also, they hold the hot really well because you know how aluminum holds on to temperatures. So it'll keep your coffee warm or your water cold. So these are awesome. What's even better is you can customize them. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm making custom water bottles and I wanted to show you. So I'm here at my mug press. I'm gonna turn this on and let it come up to temperature while we're talking a little more about the water bottles. So basically the mug press I'm using it's got a few different interchangeable um, elements here. So I have the one element that's good for water bottles because it has a different size to it. I'm bringing the mug press up to 380 degrees and I'm gonna press these for about 175 seconds. So it's a little over two minutes. Um, I found that's a pretty good time for my water bottles. I have this style of water bottle, it's silver. It comes with this sports top but also it comes with this top as well. So you get two options of top. It, this water bottle comes in silver and it comes in white. So you have different options depending on your design. I also have different kinds of water bottles. These are a little larger. This one's similar to one that you see at the big name stores. We're not gonna say names. But this one's really nice too. This comes in silver, it comes in white as well. I just don't have an example right now because I had an order, so I had to sell it. So we have two different kinds of water bottles. These are super, super popular, great sellers of mine. I have an art show coming up, so I'm making water bottles. So let me show you the process. I have my water bottles here. I have my heat tape that helps hold the image. Okay, so we're up to temperature. It's gonna beep, so it is what it is. And then I have my pre-printed images. So these images, I put it on my printer. They're all ready to go. And again, similar to the other products, we're mirroring the image because they're gonna go on the water bottle. So let me show you. So I take my image, you gotta take the tap off of the water bottle because of, you don't wanna melt it. This gets really hot, so you don't wanna melt it. So tap off. I have my image here. So we're essentially just gonna wrap the image around the water bottle. I have my pre-cut tape for myself. I lay it down on the table and then I just line it up Give it a little wrap on one side. I'm gonna tape that down. And then I tug on the image pretty nicely so that there's no like um, wrinkles or you want the image to be nice and flush to the bottle so that there's nothing, no errors. So I take my time on this part and make sure it's nice and lined up. Looks pretty good. Hold on, it's a little crooked. There we go. And that, I'm gonna undo this tape a little bit. All right, so then we're gonna tape it down like this. I'm gonna get a second piece of tape, tape it down like that. Make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, so we got the image on the water bottle. It's super simple, no cap. We're gonna slide it into the mug press like this. Do do. Make sure the seam is kind of on the top where it's open. And I have this on pretty light pressure. You don't want to um, have too much pressure. I'm going to hit the go button. Okay, so now I can talk. You don't want to have too much pressure because I've literally pressured it and the water bottle will get crunched and it turned into almost like a triangle like that. It was really weird. No bueno. Not good at all. So I'm going to let this cook. It's going to be a little over two minutes and then I'll come back and show you the results. Cool. Okay, we're back. We are still making our water bottle. It's been a little over two minutes now, and this has about, what does it say? It says 12 seconds, 10 seconds left. 
Um, it's coming out of the heat press. Again, we did it at 380 degrees in our mug press and it's about to come out. So it's gonna be really hot. All right, so that means it's done. Awesome. Got my glove. I'm just gonna turn that beeping off. I, again, this is aluminum, so it's retaining all the heat from the heat press or the mug press, so it's really hot. All right, so see how we've, the tape's peeling off a little, that's just from the heat, no big deal. Be really careful, this is really hot. I've burned my finger millions of times doing this. All right, I use an X-Acto knife sometimes to get the tape off because my fingers hurt a lot. So here we go, voila, check it out. This has the Cleveland Skyline on it. How cool is that? So it's a silver water bottle. It's got the Skyline on it. It turned out awesome. So I think this is gonna be a really great seller at my craft show coming up. And it's pretty cool. I mean, you can do all kinds of things. So I'm gonna let that cool. I wanna show you also the white one that I made. So I made this white one where the white really pops the design nicely. It says, this might be wine. For those uh, wine drinkers out there, this would be a good aluminum water bottle for you. So it's really, really fun. I really like the white. I like the silver too though, because that's a little more industrial feeling. It's kind of a really cool shine to it. It looks really great. So I just wanted to show you guys my technique. I'm gonna keep plugging away at these because I got a bunch of them to make. I'm doing all kinds of different designs on these water bottles. And as always, you can find them on my website. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to keep cranking out videos. I, every week I have a new idea. So I'm having a lot of fun with this and thanks for watching. See you later.